All right, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, I was already in Animal Crossing. Well, that was much faster than I thought it would be. <laughs> thought we were uh, past that. I had to get in and launch it. Oh, Jesus. I had no sound going through my headset, so I turned up the headset, and then I almost fucking lost my ears. Oh. Alright. I think a one minute adds plenty of time. I don't know, we might lower it back to a 30 second ad. I know my, the other ads were really long. Like, sure, um, you get more revenue if you do longer things and it steps them for a longer period of time and all that stuff, but... I think it's best so everybody can just get as few ads as possible and a few as much, not as much, as little time as possible so you don't miss out much on what I'm saying. You're missing all this because of the ad, so I'm just rambling to myself a little bit, so no worries at all in that regard. Oh no, the ad was starting soon, so I'm no, I was talking to everybody. Now that. <laughs> nice. All right. I'm just gonna crack my arms and stuff while the ad goes. Do a little stretch. Oh, fuck. I need to like make sure I actually take these supplements per day now. Now, like, don't take any of it. Oh. So I don't need to be taking <laughs> the vitamin D and the multivitamins. That's a little excessive, apparently. How much does this one say? Bro daily percentage of vitamin D. 250 cent. 250 percent before I eat anything. Holy fuck. That's a little crazy. Okay. Anyway. Tom Nook here. Hello, everyone. It's Tom Nook. It's 655 in the morning. Just had Friday, May 13th, 2022. It's actually a 56, Tom. You're wrong. For today's news, do we have any? My staff, Timmy and Tommy, open up their shop. At oh, yes. we. I forgot we finished it. I thought it would be tomorrow. thought we did it too late. Well, wait. Why would it be too late? We did it first in the morning. What am I talking about? I am blah, blah, blah. It's a small shop, but they'll change stock daily and carry a selection of goods sure to better your eye on life. It's open from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. It's just a bit early yet, but I do hope you'll pop in later. Tom, you're killing me. <laughs> That's a good say you, though. When the shop isn't open, you can still take advantage of the drop-off box. Drop off anything you don't need, our shop stewards will send payment to your account later. Uh, one more thing. To celebrate the opening of the shop, we've added a new catalog service to Nook Shopping. Catalog lets customers see and record of items they've obtained or purchased. Any mass marketed items can be ordered directly through the catalog, so make good use of it. Now then, with all that said, I hope everyone takes advantage of the new Nook's Cranny. By the way, we will be holding a special commemorative ceremony soon, as usual. Stop by the service if you'd like to participate. Oh dear, never fails, of course. This would happen right in the middle of a broadcast. Ha, huh, you and me both, Tom. Aha, uh -huh. one moment, please. That was literally my first stream. A phone call happened. Hello, this is Tom Nook from Nook Inc. Yes, what? The getaway package. Why? Yes, yes, yes. Of course. And that's all for today's island-wide broadcast. Ah, so, sorry to put you on hold. Allow me to give you a full overview of the... Uh... No, no, okay. Bye. Oh, maybe that's Sydney calling. Or it could be somebody completely different. Hopefully it's not somebody completely different, because I just I want Sydney here already. Been like three days since we've seen her. Oh, we got a bunch of, Oh yeah, the tulip hat baller. Congrats, celebrate the new addition to your home. Please accept a small gift. You'll need convenient electronic appliances to your upgraded home. Okay. Let's go. Yes, I know it's bedtime too. 
Daisy May. Dear Pig Pog folks, I'll be heading to your island every Sunday morning to sell my precious turnips. Just the way my grandma used to. Be seeing you, Daisy May. Well, today is Friday, so... I just... But at least it's morning, is what they're talking about, and that is when we play on Pig Pog. So... Oh, jeez, Kevin. Scared the shit out of me. So, do you know about reactions? No, I've been trying to do them. I mean, like, when you feel full of joy and your body just starts moving on its own, like I'm doing now. Okay, that was kind of weird, but that's reactions for you. <laughs> They're all about getting emotions across. Want to try a reaction for yourself? Just hit the ZR button. Do enough and bam. There's your stretches for the day. I'm going to tell everyone to show you... Their favorite reactions, too, so be sure to ask around. I learned a reaction. These gestures will help me express my feelings. Oh, uh, so we had to actually unlock it. I was wondering like, why I couldn't do it. That's the only one I have. Got joy, delight. Okay, now we can clap. Amazing. I like that sound effect. It's an awesome sound effect. Surprise. <laughs> Bro, my eyes get so small. <laughs> Nook Miles. What do we get Nook Miles for? Learning how to do emotes? No. Dream House. The home that you build yourself gives you greater livability. It's on a whole other level. I give you Nook Miles for those who build it or expand their home to, to taste a good life. Nice. A thousand miles for that. Fought. Bro. We got one for one and one for two. We don't get another one for f till we hit level five of our house. How many levels for our house is there? How much money do I owe Tom Nook? Jesus Christ! Guess your wardrobe and change your look. Okay, we can either do that: fish, wood, and rocks, and selling. Oh God, it's got like heartburn. No, someone. Um, completely forgot what buttons were again. We got more stuff to do. Yeah, there it is. Reaction roar. Okay. You ran a reaction. Let's celebrate this moment. Momentous occasion with Nook Miles. Reactions help you express yourself. It's a good idea to learn them. Neophyte. Never heard that word before. I don't know what that means. Oh. Oh, I, I got really confused on what the hell that was. No, no coconuts. I wanted to see if they were worth more than... So I think we might play longer today, just so we can at least get one taste of the shop. It won't be a common thing, but... Because otherwise it puts the rest of the, Well, at least um, this week it'll be, it's fine, but next week it'll be like completely throwing off schedule. But what I'm thinking about doing... Is, well, I know, like, I know what day it's going to start. It's going to be start Sunday. I'm still trying to like really nail down the times of the second like afternoon type streams before, my, before I go to work. Um, I'm rambling, so I'm walking around. Um, duh, 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 what was I saying? Oh, but it has to be after 3. Cause I, I, I wake up at 3. So, um, so I was thinking at least start at 4, but then I was like, you know, I don't want it to be like, I leave the house for work at 9.30. But I don't want it to be like, okay, last second, uh, we end stream at 9.15, I have to get ready in like 10 minutes, and then go to work. Like, that's dumb. So, I was like, okay, so probably end it at no later than 8.30. So I was thinking like, okay, well, when do you want to start it? It has to be at least after 4, so like maybe 4.30 to 7 would be a good time. But then I'm like, well, that's only 3 hours. But then I'm like, well, I'm streaming. I stream for an hour in the morning anyway, so I don't know. It's just an hour. Like, it's not a huge stream now, and I think we're getting... I think we're getting decent progress, and I don't think if we played any longer than this... I think it'd be a little overkill. I think I started to get burned out of it at that point. Well, hello there, Jonathan. Your home is much roomier, yes? I didn't even go in my house. It's just nice to give them even a little extra space. Which brings us to the cost of your remodel. That'll be 198,000 bells. 
Oh yes, please make your payment using Nook Shop's ABD feature as you've done before. As always, it's been over ever so nice doing business with you. It might just be like... What? So that was how I sold stuff. There's a bonus model, so there's nice. Oh, since we upgraded our house, is there more things in here now? No. Okay. I don't want a Nook Miles ticket right now, because let's go to Nook Shopping. Oh, I see. And then furniture, we've already... 35,000 bells for that. Wow. Oh, so we can buy more of the same items. Very nice. Outdoor generator is a lot. Oh, uh, so that, like, basically removes the, um, as long as it's the, uh, I don't know why it would still show me the not for sale things. But yeah, if we happen to sell something for, if we need money or, we don't got to worry about, no, I don't think, I can't think of another reason why you would buy certain things. Maybe like if you wanted to have somebody be like the exact same person as you for some reason. Wait, what did it say? Contains wallpaper, flooring, and more. So we, we could just buy tools. Buy fossils. Special goods. What does it say? Order special goods or goods from the daily selection here. Okay. Just the same things here. Pull up bar stand, maracas, sporty shades. Leaf print wetsuit. Ooh, that's pretty sick. But we already have a wetsuit, and um, I don't actually have that. I don't think I have that much money at all. Nope, don't want to do that. Just clicked it again. The ABD, please. Oh, uh, we have a decent amount of money, so if I want to buy something, I can. Okay. No, oh, I just did that again. Oh my god. <laughs> Too exhausted to think. Not tired enough to actually sleep. Oh, so this is a drop box you were talking about. It says it's a drop-off box. I guess I can drop off anything I want to sell. How does this work? Drop off items to sell at any time. Just place your items inside the box. Payment will be deposited into your Bank of Nook account the next day. Items are bought at 80% of their shop and trade due to handling fees. Cannot return any items placed inside the drop-off box. We can only trade turnips and give full price for hot items inside the store. Uh. So basically, since we did this, we can no longer sell... Well, I don't want to sell anything during stream, basically, is what I'm saying. Can I just throw everything on the ground right in front of here? I feel like I just robbed the store. I think that was 100% probably their money. Pop it down. So, well... He just said that we got the upgrade for our house. So that's just to go in the house and see how much bigger it is. Is it massive? It was a massive jump from tent to house. But is it just going to be like one space bigger? Kind of. It's not tremendously bigger, but it is definitely not nearly as tight. So let's... Is this? Nope. It's this button. Let's move everything around. Why didn't move the fish? Move the fish. Stop. Put that back up there. Wow. 
why is the store. There we go. Put this over in the corner. And then next to the mirror. That over there. We can have our wall of snails. I don't like the animal facing sideways. It makes them look weird. There we go. Yeah, we can see our snails. Move. Move the box. There we go. Make it like a nightstand. Get the couch. Move it there. Pop the switch on the nightstand. Lantern on the other side. That down there. Rug in the middle of the room. We can set our bed nicely on the corner. There we go. Now we can place more snails on the wall whenever we catch more snails. That's pretty sick. We're going to change our clothes for the extra um, miles. Put on the bear shirt. And the slags. And where's my other hat? Oh, it's still in the... I didn't I need to open all the boxes. I didn't think about that part. There's the tulip hat. Sick. And what did they give us? A vacuum cleaner. There we go. Yeah, don't, don't, don't just leave it on. Oh, bro. <laughs> Turn it off. It's so loud. This is like one of our ideal hats, so. No, don't do that. Hang on the wall. Well, that actually looks much better. I don't know why they don't do that with this. They can't just have like a hook for it. Makes it look kind of weird. Okay. Um, I don't think we need anything else right now. You get the fossil with this. I think we we're gonna build buy a ticket. I think that's a good idea. Going in. So we buy a ticket, because that's, we have almost an hour before they're even open up. Oh, yes, of course. Don't worry about a thing. We can set up your getaway package, include a lovely furnished home. Mm-hmm. Oh, not at all. We'll set up your moving date at a later time. No, 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 no trouble at all. I just need to drop the proper contracts. Understood. We will get back to you very soon. Jonathan, sorry to keep you waiting. I... Suppose you overheard the call I just got. For some time now, I've been advertising the Pigpaw Getaway Package. And wouldn't you know, out of the blue, we have three interested parties. Amazing. Three. It's, I suggested one, so that's wonderful except for one minor little detail. None of our applicants are too fond of the notion of sleeping in tents, you see. I'm afraid I got caught up in the excitement of persuading them to move here. I may have promised them fully furnished homes. Three homes, setting aside land, preparing the furnishings, just too much for one raccoon. Do you to give me all the debt? But, Jonathan, here you are in my hour of need. It most certainly must be fate. Would you help me get these homes prepared, all three of them? Of course, I want to give you a good, proper thank you for your assistance. As if I have a choice. Jeez. Well, I want people on my own, because I'll actually be able to talk to people besides fucking Plucky just going to bed all the time. Oh, you're going to need some top secret instructions. When you're ready, come talk to me. Use the phrase, what should I do? Agent Nook out. Oh, this should be fun. Alright. We're going to buy the Nook ticket first. Because I want to do that regardless. That this might take precedence. And take the rest of it. I don't know how long it's going to take. But I'd rather have it in my inventory and know about it. 
why I, what I was going to do with all these Nook Miles. Because on me right now, it's in my inventory. No, no I don't want me to do anything else right now. Yeah, it's physically on me, so I'll see it in my inventory. What would you like to talk to me about? All ears. Yep. What should I do? Oh, so you're already ready to help me prepare. Here's what I'm thinking. We really should start by building a bridge across the river somewhere. With three homes to build, I worry that we'll run out of space on land that is easily accessible. A bridge will open up things up a bit and make it easier to get to housing plots during construction. So, that's what I exactly said. For crowding the parts for a bridge base, get your DIY skills, and then you'll want to decide on a prime location for the bridge as well. Done. I thank you recipe for the bridge construction kit. You can find it on your notebook. Once you've assembled your bridge construction kit, find a good spot for a bridge and then check in with me. It can be a little tricky to place a bridge, but we can talk if you have some trouble or need some advice. Good luck. Okay, let's go take a look at what we got then. I don't think there's a button that can just pull up the map. Is there? So I'd like a better look. Nope. Nope. No. Can I just pull up the map? Oh. Oh my phone. The doy. Check the map for your current location. You can also press X to change the settings and choose whether to display the minimap during your day-to-day -day activities. Yeah, leave it on. I'm, I'm constantly, like, losing myself. So far, how's over there on the left? Okay, so you can see the elevation too. That's nice. We don't have any ability to build ladders. So if we're going to build a bridge... Well, I don't know if we have access to multiple bridges. So we, I don't want to build it across the middle section. That would be dumb if we can only build the one bridge for now. The bottom left is the biggest area, but it's also really skinny and then like really close to the beach. Hmm. We have three people. So we could spread them out a lot if they were on the left side. We could spread them all the way around the coast. Otherwise they'd be kind of cramped together like on the top. The top left, the... Well, no, they could be pretty spread apart. There too. Hmm. Interesting. Have a lot of choices to make. We'll have to build the kit first. Let's go build the kit. And then we'll figure out, like, because we can do, like, the can we imagine it thing. Actually see what it looks like where these uh, bridges can be built. Log stakes. I put a log stake. Clay and stone. We have plenty of clay and stone, but... I don't have any log stakes. Okay. I don't know what a log stake is. <laughs> hey, hey um, Tom, you want to tell me how to do that? I'd rather really not have to like look up what a log stake is. Hello, hello. What, what would you like to talk to me about? Your first step, you should use a DOI with you to assemble a bridge construction kit. Once that's done, take the kit to a spot where you want the bridge. Well, place the bridge. Place the bridge can be tricky business. Do come see me if you have trouble or need advice. What? Does he only have the recipe like here or something? Need materials, but what? What are is a log stake? <laughs> I don't have the ability to craft it. <sighs> Why did I not think that that was a wood stake? So I need four of these. Man. 
It'd be crazy if I could read. Like, I'd be powerful as hell. Be unstoppable. But I can just read. Okay. So we're gonna need more wood. Luckily, Plucky did do something nice and give us an extra axe. So clay seems to be the thing that we're gonna run out of. Wooden clay, but wood's redeemable easily. DIY. DIY furniture. Very nice. Okay. So we need two more wood at least. Oh, and we have enough to make two bridges clay-wise currently. If we get no more clay, we have enough for two still. Okay. You know, I didn't even check if the stream was lagging. It could be lagging like hell right now. Okay, luckily it's not. The comality of that is really annoying. I think it's like every time that I unplug the HDMI and like switch systems, it becomes super laggy. So let's... Flimsy axe. Let's go break our flimsy axe first. Boom. Hardwood. Is that softwood? I don't know what that was. I think that might have been softwood. I can't remember what color it is. It's hardwood. Oh, no, there's softwood. So that was wood. Just regular base wood. I can't remember what you actually need the softwood for, but it's probably good to keep getting all the woods. Nice. I think we needed it for the, um, the vaulting pole, which if we're making a bunch of bridges, we won't even need it, so... that's all that. It's nice. Get that out of our inventory. What's nice as well is going on this new um, stream schedule for the, in the evenings. Um, I'm not sure like how I'm gonna what I'm gonna play and stuff yet, but that will give us an opportunity to play in the afternoons. So maybe that we could do that, but I also don't want to spend like seven hours of my ten hours of ability to stream and play only Animal Crossing. It'd be kind of unfortunate. I like the game, but I don't know if I'd like it anymore after that point. Damn. There's a lot more wood on trees on this island than I thought there was. We have 16. Need at least two more, and then I could build. I don't know how many. At least two of the bridge kits. That's all we need. But I might as well go till we lose this axe as well, or we run out of trees. We still got a lot of time to waste before the shop opens. There we go, nice, three of the same wood. Really surprised I haven't found a bee's nest yet. I really expected to jinx it immediately.
<laughs> that could have been dangerous. I couldn't even see if there, like, if the bee's nest did fall. I have no idea because of the angle we were at. Damn, he has some crazy durability on it. Almost threw it into the water. And these do grow back. I pulled these the other day of all, all the tulips. We can get some extra money coming from these. They're not worth very much, but we can do that. Oh, jeez. I got a little carried away with how much wood I was carrying. Alright, let's head back in. I didn't, I didn't need to come up here, but I'm all the way up here now. Might as well, since we're all the way up here. Okay. Should I craft something? Yes. Wish we could just craft, like, a certain amount. Like, I want to craft 12 of them. There we go. Oh, we can fucking zoom through it, apparently. <laughs> Jesus. Keep crafting. Craft a million of them. No, there's no way to make more of them. We're gonna make eight. And there's six in pockets. Part two for doing it. What? Oh, they take up a whole thing each. Jesus. Yes. Well, in that case, let's make the bridge kit. And then we'll build some more of those. There we go. That'll take up four slots away from us. And then we can do this. Yippee! There's one last one. Right? Okay, yeah, we have four. Yeah, I thought the log stakes were basically um, a tent. What? No, I didn't mean tent. But now it's gone. Why is it gone now? Fuck. <laughs> Should have thought about that earlier, I guess. Oh well. Let's just imagine it. Can we do that? You can, yeah. To be able to you need the river to be just the right width and the land on either side should be even. So we can't make it. Can we make it like this then? Is that even an option? I don't know. So you can't make it just randomly. Is that even where I want to make it? No, that's the wrong place. I want to get to this island. So can we build it right there? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, let's imagine the bridge. Okay, so it's very limited where you can actually place it. But yeah, it looks fine. Nice. Let the land connect. Hey Tom, can you give me another one of those things? Can I build another bridge, please?
Alright, uh, Jonathan. Hello, hello. So, did you find a good place to deploy your bridge against Archer Creek? Yep. It's playing excellent work. Then tomorrow, we'll have a new bridge set up, and it'll be even easier to get around the island. Now that's out of the way, it's time to start on some homes. We can wait for bridge connect to finish if you want, or just ask me what should I do, whatever. What, 7.30? We have 30 minutes left. Earn battles by selling items. Catch fish, grow a fruit tree, chop down a whole tree, hit the rocks. Let's go hit some rocks, I guess. Nope. I pushed B. Why didn't you back out? Okay. Very nice. Do we have a shovel? Yes, we do. Yeah, I don't know why we can't... Fuck, I did it again. Why we can't, um... Just build two bridges. I mean, I, I guess... Be kind of a little overpowered, but... Nice. <laughs> Big money. God damn. Oh, and that took care of this too. Infinite money. Catch a tiger beetle. Always is a tiger beetle. I've never even seen a tiger beetle. Maybe I'd have. No, I think we did. I think we caught one one time. It ran away from us. You awake yet? You're still asleep. Fantastic. Where did Kevin go? Alright, let's go explore the rest of the island, I suppose. Actually, let's make another shovel first. Because that would make sense. Like, let's go find some fossils. That doesn't make any sense. If we find one, we're not going to be able to do anything with it. Might as well build a net, too. crafting to build a net. I don't remember if we have a fishing pole to another shovel now. Well, let's go ahead and build the fishing pole and a new axe. Now wait, the axe has like a ton of durability increased, so we'll just stick with the fishing shovel. Fishing shovel. You know, words don't need to come out correctly ever. That's all I wanted to do. Just check over here to see if there's any fossil land about before we go talk to Blathers. Yep. There it is. There we go. I need to figure out which things we've uh, already encountered, too. Oop. I got some weeds down here. What? Oh, our inventory is full. Oh, because I have 15 log stakes down here. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh, message in a bottle. Yeah, I know, my pockets are filled. Yeah, just swap it with the flower. We're only going to use it for a second. We're going to see what it is. I first saw the ocean. I thought, wow, that's big. But then I thought, oh, this recipe is, and as they say, sharing is caring. So here you go. Now bring my genius to life. Your recipe guru, Rodney. A wooden knot wall? Huh. Okay. Sweet. Learned a recipe for the wooden knot wall. What the hell is a wooden knot wall? Oh. 15 hardwood. Oof. God, I can't remember what we... I think we need a custom floor is what we don't have. I think we already have a custom wall. 
I haven't seen the seagull guy around in a while, so at least he's staying on his boat and not wrecking anymore. We are definitely also not getting nearly as many fossils as we were in the first few days. Which isn't like terrible because then it slows it, slows it down a little bit, but oh, we literally just passed one. How is it to keep running too? There we go. Dug a fossil. Oh, but I can't carry anything else. Yep. Swamp it with the flower. Swamp. Oh. Yeah, this is a nice place, but there's a ton of fucking trees up here. Holy hell. We'll have to move the flowers around. Flowers around. It's a tree. Why do I keep talking wrong? I think once the trees are grown, though, I don't think they need... I don't think it matters if they're not, uh... Close together, because that was one of the things it said when you're growing a tree, don't stack them close together. But, I think it's okay, as long as we do it nicely. I thought I heard a balloon. Yeah, there it is. They have that whistling sound going on. Nope. Nice. Oh shit, forgot about that immediately. Yep, but swap it out with the flower again. Got something in my eye. Probably an eyelash. Always a pain in the ass. Oh. What do we get? A pot rack. Nice. Do these things, do the stakes actually even look nice on the ground? Okay. I guess not. Does it make a decent fence? We place a bunch of them. <laughs> no, I think you can... No, that just looks kind of weird. We'll probably have a recipe later on that's just for a fence. Okay. Let's go see how the pot rack looks. Let's put it... Just put it down on the floor. Oh, hang on the wall. Can I hang it behind the snails? Not exactly what I was going for, but I mean, that worked. It looks nice. Yeah, let's go get our fossils assessed. How much longer do we have? It's still 22 minutes before the shop even opens. Bro, I just want to see Timmy. Is that a tiger beetle? Is that what we need for our challenge? There we go. That's how we got him. <laughs> caught a tiger for you. Boom. Easy. Very nice. Sell shells. Fish. We can go fish for a little bit. We, we can't do the other thing till we 
get the um the shop open. So we don't even know how much things we're gonna get. Yeah, let's go assess these fossils and get rid of them. Possibly. Hopefully. Blathers. Wake the fuck up. Ooh. Oh dear, pardon me. Good morning. Welcome to the Pig Bob Museum. Yep, I need you to assess all these fossils. How many do we have? We have three fossils. Here you go. Take a look at these. Do we have any of them? Hoo hoo. These are rare fossils, each and every one. Not one has appeared in our collection. Awesome. Here you go. Take those back and then hand them right back to you. Marvelous. What would you like to donate? A plesioskull, a diplo tail tip, or a dini tail. We got all, all tails. No, no, that all tails. First thing is a skull. <laughs> oh my god. Could it be? It is a plesioskull. There you go. Fascinating stuff. Alright, what, what are you telling me with the plesio? The plesiosaurus is a classic of the ancient reptile world. That long, graceful neck, the wee little head, and the plump, turtle-like body make for a striking silhouette. Incidentally, the plesiosaurus name wasn't actually a dinosaur, common era. But they were sure a majestic sight swimming in those ancient seas, the long-necked rubber ducky. That is what I have to say. Awesome. Let me hope we can find what remains of the fossil display in a fully assembled form. Alright, what about the other ones? What happens when we get a fully assembled dinosaur? You gonna give me some money? A diplo tail. A diplo tail tip, specifically. Yes. Wonderful. Good old Diplo. <sighs> Diplodocus. What would we do without you? The stout fellow embodied all the best in dinosaurs. The sturdy legs, the magnificent tail, and above all, the extraordinary neck. Do you know that as a center of gravity with such sitting up on its hind legs was probably easy? The more pairs of long neck could really create creases. Oh, yeah. We already read about that. Probably grew its entire life having no adult size. With that, we were also gifted. Yeah, I wouldn't be. Um. Five foot something. <laughs> five five to five eleven. Somewhere in that range. I went and got. Uh. What said weight? I'm like, that doesn't have anything to do with your height. I haven't got measured since I was, um. In high school. So. I was 5'3 in 11th grade, so that's all I remember. So who knows how tall I am? Probably like 5'5 five five at best, though. Wonderful. Just fascinating. Ahem. Yes, you may not have heard of Dionicus. Dionicus? But you may have heard of its cousin, the Velociraptor. Both are predators distinguished by their frighteningly huge toe claws. They also likely had feathers. The main difference between them is size. Dionychus was about 7 feet tall and weighed 160 pounds. Little Velociraptor on the other hand was a compact 2 feet tall and weighed only about 33 pounds. Yeah, the Velociraptor is what they put in Jurassic Park and that's what they talk about the whole time, but those are not that. I've heard that people meeting celebrities are surprised at how short they are in person. And that's what I have to say about that. Right. Nope, that's everything. Let's go take a look downstairs and see what... See what that all did. Because we still have 60 more minutes. Oh my god. Any of you guys were that? Nope, these are all old fossils here. Let's see. What ones we got? 
plesiosaurus. Okay. It's that one. Got ankylosaurus. We didn't have any for that. We didn't have for the iguanodon or the parasolophus. We didn't have either of those. We didn't have the triceratops. Spinosaurus. We didn't have any for him. I didn't see what that said. Spinosaurus. Oh, the T Rex. We just have a T Rex tail. We didn't have anything for him. But this guy. Yeah, okay, there's that one. So he's got the really, really skinny tail. Okay. What is this? Demetrodon. Didn't get anything for that. Diplodocus. Uh, so now we have its front and the end. Bronchiosaurus. Where's the other ones? Maybe they're over here. I feel like there were that's missing a few fossils though. I still don't understand what that really is. Osceolopus. Okay. Megatherolops. Okay. No? I don't know where it is then. I don't remember. It was a skull. We got a skull. Oh no, it's this guy, right? I don't think that was the name though. Maybe I just instantly forgot what it was. That is still likely. Okay. Let's go upstairs. Let's go get some fish. Rest easy, blathers. I'm about to fucking pass out as well, but I just want to fucking talk you to me. It's all I want to do. I'm literally on like the verge of falling asleep every six seconds, and all I want to do, all I want to do, just want to talk to Timmy. So we have two slots, three slots. Okay. We don't really have anything we could just drop either. I'm just gonna place these on the ground. Maybe I shouldn't have placed it right where I need to fish. Yeah, just. Oh, just. Yeah, drop. There we go. Drop all the log stakes for now. While we fish. Boom, there we go. Probably a seahorse. No, we got a new fish. Hell yeah. Caught a surgeon fish. Scalpel four ships fish hook. <laughs> Finally, a new fish. They're the same fish for like three weeks. I was just talking that we didn't find you for a while. And there you are. A sea bass, more money. What are you doing, Gulliver? No, you, you walked the prank. Think you're so smart. Wake up! Don't want to be flotsam. Can I be jetsam? It just sounds more rugged. Wake up! A vast storm to come. Embrace yourselves, lads. Heard starboard though. The port stern to stern. Uh, who's at the helm? Just give me five more minutes. Way anchor. Check its blood pressure. Who's your provider? Yum yum. Bro. Wake up. 
No, don't make me go back to space. It's cold and dark. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm not in space. Good old Terra Farmer. <laughs> oh, it's you, Jonathan. Were you the one who jabbed me awake just now? Thanks. Also, ow. <laughs> Feels like my cage got rattled pretty hard. Must have bonked the old lung out they fell overboard. Maybe the pain will fade if I keep talking. Ow, oh, laughing bad. Laughing equals bad. Oof. Will you hang with me till the hurting stops? The face of screams ample free time. <laughs> it's another thing. Must have sipped, slipped over the side of the boat. I have no idea where my ship is right now. The crew must be worried sick. Never fear, we'll be reunited in a jiffy. Keep my handy dandy. Uh. Oh my gosh. My handy dandy communicator is broken. This isn't handy or dandy. Oh, sardines. It's all cracked and buzzed. Look at the missing a few committee parts, too. That means I have to wait for my crew to find me on their own. That could take a while. Oh, we got enough new. No, I go punch the last for a couple hours. Bang here. Will you look for my community parts, please? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll look for them. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Your heart must be almost as big as your head. Bro. <laughs> Communicated parts are probably buried in the sand somewhere. Missing five parts. If you find them, I'll try to crack them back in here. I'm sure my crewmates are looking for me, so I better stay here and look for the boat. I'll leave the surgeon to you. I believe in you, partner. Don't much of a choice. I'm going fishing. Fish! Come on, bite it. Take the bait! Damn! All for a horse mackerel. Horse mackerel. Hey, buddy, you having fun over here? Read that sitting like this is the best way to work your core muscles. I don't know about all that. Fish! Boom. Take the bait. No. No. F Goddamn fish. Y you're a fucking prick. Bruh. <laughs> There he thought. Boom. Got him. You fucked up. Butterfly fish. How many more spots we got? We have three more spots. We only need two more fish. Oh, no, that's a butterfly. There's a fish. Big fish. Boom. Oh, fuck. Shit. I jerked for like half a second and accidentally hit the A button. There we go. Get him. It's a carp. Was that it? Oh, I thought we only got four fish. <laughs> it changed the look again. Alright. Easy enough. Let's jump over here. There's another fossil. Very nice. We gotta go back to him anyway for the uh, fish. It was up on the D-pad. There we go. We need the fishing flim the la 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 the net. Nope, wrong spot. It's nice as this, this wastes another time, more time, and we're on, we only need uh, six more minutes. Thank God. 
ما بعد احد First, let me hit this. You have some fossil to look at again. Just the one. There you go. Let me see here. Hmm. Indeed. Hoo hoo, of course, it can be but one thing. A megatherotail. Megatherotail. Quite remarkable, indeed. If only I could take it off your hands. We already have one, so I'm going to return it to you. Nice, more money. Might I help you? Well, we do have one new fish. Who, 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 who? This is undoubtedly a surgeon fish. Yes, tell me about the surgeon fish. Fish are particularly dangerous despite their seemingly docile appearance. Since saturated blue and yellow turns, the surgeon fish is quite breathtaking. It's got to keep up with all the other vibrant fish that live in the coral, too. Quite the competition. Its spine is sharp as a blade, so care must be taken when handling these beauties. And there you have it. Can you actually cut yourself on it? That's pretty impressive. What's your idea of my gratitude? Am I having anything else? No, that's about it. Well, in that case, let's actually go take a look at the fish. We, I think we've caught like a ton of fish by now. Just see what we actually have here. We got none in this tank. We got a few in this one. We got the dace. We got the gobby. And the crucian carp. None in this first tank, though. None in this last tank either. Or this big ass tank. Nothing in there. Anything in this one? The loach. And the black bass. And then, just maybe more donations. Very nice. We got a decent amount in this one. I think most of our fish are seawater fish, though. The ocean fish. How do we. Is it this? Yeah, that's there's a horse mackerel. Just at the bottom down here. Oh, okay. <laughs> you guys got a huge tank for just him in there. I know there's another area. Oh, down there it is. You got any fish in this one? No, that one's empty. And there's a big, like, walking tank that you can go look at. Must be over this way. Because even is, like, literally fucking huge. There it is. No. No, there's the whelk. Just in a little container by himself. Let's go downstairs first. So we got the zebra turkey fish. There's a sea bass. Got the sea pineapple. The red snapper. The hidden fish. Oh, oh there it is down there. The olive flounder. Squid. Seahorse, seaweed, the acorn barnacles, and the turban shell. Oh, then you have your coral fish up here. The pearl art oyster. Oh, there's the spotted garden youth. Well, that's pretty cool. This is the only one that actually shows like a ton of them with them though. There's the clownfish somewhere. Oh there he is right behind my head. Surgeon fish. Butterfly fish. Maybe because of how many you, you've picked up. 
Because that could be correct. Because we've only picked up one surgeon fish. There's only one in there. But we've caught clownfish a few times. And there's a few in there. A few butterfly fish. And I, I can believe that I've picked up that many of the eels. There's our clown. Oh, that's, we just took that one. We have any from this one? The sea anemone. Sea slug. It's now 8 o'clock. Just my, hey, we should be already off stream and going to sleep alarm. But here we are. Still going, because Timmy just now got his ass up to work. So, that's, oh, so it's just straight through. Then you can go to the ocean fish. I really like that, though. That's pretty awesome. It's, I like looking at all the different animals. I wish you could read the facts about them, too, there. Like, just the direct wordage of it. And not the, um... But he's got, like, flavor text, which is, which is fine. But we can nice just to read what's about them. Alright, now, Timmy, you better have a great shop. Oh, yeah, porcupine. I was worried when I heard you were all moving to a deserted island. It's much nicer than I thought I imagined. It's so nice, so nice. We've been here for a little while, and it's really starting to come along. It seems we're making dis new discoveries almost every day. Moved here because of our job. We're having a lot of fun, too. I'm so pleased to hear that. Actually, I came here today checking on you all and see if you need assistance with anything. It's our way of celebrating in your shop, you know. We just like to help wherever we can. Why is the porcupine related to the raccoons? Any ideas come to mind? You're too kind, Mabel. We're just overwhelmed that you even thought to come visit us. Visit us. Oh, hey, I think something come to mind. Well, we still have some logistical challenges to overcome. We depend on mail orders for a lot of our goods. Having a shop should make it a bit easier for us to obtain ready-made furniture and stuff like that, but we still have a lot of clothing. We still need a clothing supplier. Aha! Something tells me that today is your lucky day. As it turns out, it's really not that difficult to get for us to get to this island. How about if I stop by every so often and sell some of our wares to your, your wonderful island dwellers? Oh wow, did you really mean that? Our residents will be so overjoyed. Overjoyed. Of course, silly. If we can sell our goods here, it's a win-win situation for everybody. I suppose that, with that settled, I should head home and work out the details with my sister. Yes, please do that. Do that. We can't wait to see you get here again. <laughs> Me. Oh, Jonathan. Sorry to keep you waiting. Waiting. Thanks to your help, we've opened this amazing new shop. New shop. Our shop is named of, in honor of our... Blah, blah, blah. And named in honor of a shop our beloved president, Nook, we used to run. Welcome to Nook's Cran. As you can see, we've offered ready-made furniture and items that can't be made as DIY projects. Also, in the back cabinet with the tools and other miscellaneous goods, we have wallpaper and flooring. Be able to figure out all your shopping needs. Shopping needs. Okay. Do so you guys just run after me now? Hmm. There was something else. Oh, right. For the new shop come three new services. First, let's talk turnips. I've heard a turnip market about to take off here on the island. Probably see a turnip seller soon. We'll buy any turnips you have on the hand. The price is set in the morning and afternoon. So be sure to stop by. One note, we don't accept turnips on Sundays. So that's the day the turnip seller visits the island. The second new service involves a hot item of the day. The hot item will change every day. If you bring one in to sell, we'll give you double its normal price. You can check the hot item of the day on the, fine, on the sign in front of the shop or by asking us directly. In the last news, we're offering it to Dropbox servers. You can find a friendly shop. Say you're in a hurry or the shop is closed. You can just drop off any items you want to sell. Easy, right? We'll pay you later by sending the funds directly to your bank account after I should mention two things. There's a handling fee and we don't accept turnips. And hot items will sell for just a regular price there. I think that wraps it up. Sorry about that. That explanation went on for a bit. How can I help? What the fuck is a turnip price? The current price for turnip is 102 bells per turnip. 
Is there anything else I can do for you, too? Can I farm turnips? What's hot today? The high value of the day is the sauna heater. We pay twice the usual amount for hot items, so go ahead and bring them in. Bring them in. Anything else I can do today? I want to sell. Of course. What do you think? What are you offering? Offering. So let's sell that guy, that guy, that thing. This, this, this. This. And this. Oh, and these are oranges. Yes, that's it. Here you go. All well, the fine things you brought in today. Well, let me just run the numbers. And done. I buy these from 8900 bells. Sure. Okay. Seems like you're interested in the study desk. They're in limited supply, so I can ask your shoes. Let's see, that's 7100 bells. Hmm. We have an iron, a tape recorder thing. That. What do you guys got in here? Curious about what's in the can? Here's what we have today. Can I? Fishing rod, horizontal striped red wetsuit, bubble blower, orange windflower bag, party popper, medicine, red tool bag, red windflower, white rose, yellow rose, black wrapping paper, sapling, cedar sapling, yellow tool bag, DIY deal. Test your DIY skills. From the axe, from the shovel, pitfall seed recipe. Vaulting pole recipe, slingshot recipe, swim through water can. Let's do this one. Test your DIY and see what we Let's see. So yeah. I already bought the first one. And that had a bunch of stuff we didn't have before. Did, did you have to go get it? Why do you run around like that? Alright, time to send a recipe from Test Your DIY to your phone. Why why did you sprint like all the way around him? And we're done. Hope you enjoyed the OI even map more now. Anything else? Yeah, I want that, uh, the pitfall seed. Plant one in the ground with a shovel. There's a pit you can fall into. It's 900 bells. I buy a hole in the ground. I build... I bought the ability to build a hole in the ground. What? Paper, I can sell it in singles or in bulk. I don't know why I'd want one. I was thinking about basic walls, basic flooring. That's pretty cheap for the flooring. Yeah, I'll come back if I know I have better flooring. What is this? Oh, I can't write, I just show up. Thank you, thank you. Cool, cool. Interesting. Let's head back to our house. Actually, let's take a look at all. We just got a bunch of Nook Miles stuff. Nice. Even more miles. We'll go change again. Because it's the, what they keep giving us miles for is just like changing our clothes. That's super easy. Yes, we'll get changed real quick. Put on your cardigan, then the denim pants. There you go. Boom. Easy. Extra 150 miles for that. Then the last thing, sell a hot item for a fortune. Which is the sauna heater. Which we could make. But I don't know how much double is, and I don't want to really waste my iron for that. So, what's our new stuff that we just got? Potted ivy. Okay. Ring toss. A swinging bench. That's pretty nice. Mini DIY workshop. Oh, so I can make an actual workshop instead of the wooden one. Okay. A wooden bookshelf. Wooden block bookshelf. So we have to make the blocks first, then you make that. Wooden block stereo. That's pretty nice. And a rocking chair. Make the wooden swing next. 
put it in the next time though, because that was all I wanted. I just, I just wanted to go look at the shop and talk to him and stuff. Okay, but that's all pretty solid things in there. But, um, yeah, with that, we're going to hop into our bed here. We're going to head off for the day. Ready to wrap things up? Yep, we're going to save and end. We're going to switch to our stream ending screen while it saves. And I, my shoulder's numb. I'm going to have hiccups now. And then we're going to put it into rest mode as soon as it saves. So chill out, please. Today. Hello? <laughs> like, can you do it a little faster? There we go. Put you in rest mode, and then we are going to raid. Oh, he has a really simple name. Finally, somebody does. Just really easy to say. Rex Lions. Playing some Pokemon. Another chill game. So, uh... That was a decently longer episode, and I started a little bit earlier than normal. But that was pretty good. We made a lot of progress there. We got the build. The bridge started. We got the shop built. And, uh... Sold a bunch of stuff. I think we could have done more. I don't know what we need to do next. We need to figure out where to place their houses, which I kind of know, but we'll have to move all those trees out of the way. So, you got to figure out that. But, thank you guys for coming in today, even though I was fucking exhausted and yawning through half of that. Um, my brain keeps <laughs> drawing a blank. Um, today's Friday. Saturday. So Sunday at, I th I think th we're gonna do it at four forty-five to seven, maybe seven thirty. I don't know. I'm still trying to work out the logistics of that. And the more I think about it, the more I get confused and stuff. Um, I think that uh that'll be a good time. Four thirty to seven thirty, four thirty-seven, four to eight, somewhere in there. That'll be a good solid uh, stab at it, and uh, that'll go for every day except for Monday, Mondays, Mondays and Wednesdays. Those will still be our um, later stream days, which will start about uh, I'm thinking 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. Be a little bit longer, and I still need to figure out what days I'm going to do it, but. We are going to have a day that's specifically for, um, 